Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a really exciting tutorial for you with Divi. We are going to show you how to change the order of the items inside the Divi blog module. So what I mean is you can rearrange the image, the title, the excerpt, the meta, and the button, like change the order. So maybe you want the title above the image or the meta above the image, you know what I'm saying, things like that. It's really easy. I'll show you how to reorder those in this tutorial. All right, so this will work whether you're using the Divi blog grid or the full width layout. It doesn't matter which one you're using. So if you go ahead and set up a blog module, or if you, obviously you probably already have that, but um, get that all ready. You can design the settings, like if you want to style the title and the image and all that stuff, go ahead and do that. And then we'll jump right into the snippet here that does this reordering trick. So if you only want to target one blog module on your site, if you have multiple blog modules, etc., you may only want to target just one. Now, I don't know, you probably want to do them all. And if you want to do them all, just use the snippet as is. But if this applies to any Divi tutorial, if you want to have it custom to only one, you need to add a CSS class specifically such as this PA reorder blog and then add it before each selector here okay and that way it targets just that one but anyway we're gonna we're going to assume that you want this on all of your blog modules so anyway here it is so we can go ahead and just copy this snippet so let's let's go ahead and do that grab all of it here you'll notice there's another one down here we'll get to that so let's copy this and now over here I have a demo of a blog module set up here with the grid layout and we can go ahead and change the order where this image, title, meta, and then the excerpt and button are, okay? So by, this is the default, you know, the image on top and then the title. So you may want the title on top and then maybe the, the meta, you know. I don't think you'd want <laughs> the excerpt and button on top. But you can if you want, but um, we'll just show you a couple options here. So I'm going to use my little Chrome extension, uh, what's it called, S uh, user CSS, I guess it's called, um, and just add the snippet right here so you can see it live. Now you could put this in the page, you could put it in your theme options, or you could put it in your Divi child theme style.css file, okay? So I'm just going to paste it here. Now you'll see that things reordered and you might be like, well, that looks nasty. Well, we're not done yet. So right now, the way I had it, I had to choose a default obviously for the tutorial. Let me just point out how simple this tutorial works. The very first snippet, and I have everything labeled. It says makes the parts of the blog post flexible. That's basically saying you're, um, you're enabling this feature, the very first snippet there, okay? You're just turning on that ability. The next one, is the image so right there it clearly says blog post featured image so what it says there you may notice the only code that we have in there is order two hmm so when you look at it you're like ah yeah the image is second over here the next one blog post title order one ah the title is at the top next blog post meta order three yep and that's next and then the last is content now content does include the button and the excerpt so it's just not possible to separate that it's impossible so yeah um you couldn't like put the excerpt then um the image and then the title and then the button or something you know what i mean you ha they kind of have to stay together more than likely they'll stay at the bottom but anyway you can see that the order is four there and three and one and two and whatever so you may be thinking, well, what's up with this image? That looks terrible. That's kind of what this next snippet is. And this is going to be optional because it depends what order you're using, whether you want to add extra mark. You can see this a lot of space here and yet no space there. Let's go ahead and paste in that last snippet there. And just like that, our solution is done. You can see that in this last bit of code I added here, I was targeting the image and I said margin zero. Now if I had said, you know, 20 or something, that's about where it was, 19. 
Um, that's just how it is by default. So we're saying, no, no, we don't want that negative 19 margin. By default, there's a negative 19 pixel margin. Yeah, go figure. Um, and then the other thing is um, the margin bottom. So we're setting that right here with a different class. That's important. And, and you could adjust that as well. You can adjust anything here. So let's say I want a really big margin there. Okay. Right. Or not. Now, depending what order you choose, you may need to adjust the spacing. So let's go ahead and put the meta up here now. So you can kind of look here. Okay. Title is one. Uh, well, the meta is on three. Let's put the meta on two. And then it's like this conflict. Wait, the image wants to be two. Well, change that to three then. And just like that, you have a nice looking blog layout where you have your title and then the meta and then the image. I think it looks great. And you could say, well, I want the, um, you, well, yeah, let's do it this way. Well, I want the meta to be on top like this and then the title. You could do that. Okay. And of course you can change. I mean, if you would really want to do that, <laughs> um, you could change that as well. So that's how easy it is. Think of it, you know, you're just saying one, two, three, four. So you're probably going to just change the title, meta, and image. But yeah, I just think it's so cool. And you can do this with both the blog grid and the full width layout. Um, I should have had the demo here, but yeah, just take my word for it. Um, yeah, it works great. I think I, I really like it. I think it's such a simple solution to something that people ask a lot, you know, and it's, it's so simple. I mean, we can all count the three, right? So it's such a simple thing. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Okay. So there you go. That's how you rearrange the items there in the Divi blog module. I hope you found that helpful. Be sure to be subscribed here for all the Divi tutorials. We release at least one every week here on this channel. So thank you for all of those who are subscribed and I hope that you continue to enjoy these Divi tutorials.